Let's take a look at the Avid AVX Timecode Effect plugin. This segment based effect allows for real time overlay of source and record metadata as part of a digital cut, transcode, or export. Timecode burning is commonly needed in post production when handing picture over to sound or visual effects. Having the metadata as part of the image allows for easy reference for any of these downstream processes. As you'll see here though, the Avid AVX Timecode Effect plugin takes this idea to the next level. As with other AVX effects, the Timecode plugin can be found in the Effects palette under Generators. In my timeline, I'm going to add a new track. Then I'll add the AVX effect to that new track. This way, as I work, I can easily toggle the effect on or off right here using the track monitor. If I go into Effects mode, we can see up to four overlay controls. Three for Timecode metadata and another for Notes. Inside each of the overlay controls are the parameters for that metadata overlay. It is here in the Reader menu that you will select the type of data you wish to display. The Type menu is then used to control how the timecode display is calculated. Plus, you can select from which track the metadata should be drawn for display from any one of the 24 video or audio tracks. In addition to the timecode information, the plugin also allows for any metadata that is currently displayed above the source or record monitor. This includes key code, duration, ink numbers, DPX, even clip names. For example, if I choose frames in the reader menu and remaining in the type menu, then I will get a countdown to the end of my movie in frames. Or if I choose source in the reader menu and current from the type menu, then the source timecode for each clip in my sequence will be displayed. The fourth metadata display is actually a notes track overlay, the content of which is user definable. Identification or promotion is an ideal use for this tool, as is open watermarking for security purposes. If we want to add a notes track, it's easy to do so by directly typing into the text window of the notes section. Of course, we can also copy and paste into this area too. The appearance tab for each of the overlay windows allows for position, color, size, opacity, and background color. It is also convenient to be able to add the name of the clip to the overlay window so a producer or director can read which shot was actually included in the cut, maybe as part of a review and approval process. Another really useful aspect to this tool is the display label. If this option is selected, the display begins with a label identifying the timecode format. If this option is deselected, only the timecode value itself is displayed. As with all AVX plugins, presets can be saved and quickly added as needed. The user can prepare layout, size, color, background, metadata type and position and quickly add to the timeline when needed. As I drop these saved templates to the timeline, you can see how the timecode plugin automatically inherits the source record metadata of that timeline. And of course, all of these overlays are available in real time. Also unique to the Avid AVX timecode plugin is that it makes use of the extensive metadata database within Avid Media Composer and is therefore able to create 25 frames per second and 30 frames per second burn-ins directly from the original 24 FPS source. This ensures that PAL and NTSC workflows can proceed with clarity and predictability for the entire production chain. Feet and frames, as well as total frames, can be selected to support animation and feature film workflows. Avid built the AVX timecode plugin with the intention that it should satisfy the most demanding of post-production needs.